The Aral Sea, once the fourth largest lake in the world, has become a symbol of environmental catastrophe. Situated in Central Asia straddling the border of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, the sea once teemed with life. Today, it stands as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of human actions on the environment. The Aral Sea's decline is one of the most dramatic examples of environmental degradation in recent history. The consequences have been far-reaching, affecting millions of people. The Aral Sea serves as a cautionary tale, urging sustainable practices and global cooperation. The choices we make today will shape the world for generations to come. Before its decline, the Aral Sea was a vibrant ecosystem and an economic lifeline for the region. Its waters supported a thriving fishing industry providing livelihoods for thousands of people. Its shores were dotted with villages and towns bustling with life and commerce. The sea moderated the harsh desert climate, creating a more temperate environment. The Aral Sea was not just a body of water, it was an integral part of the region's cultural heritage. For centuries its shores were home to nomadic tribes who depended on the sea for their livelihoods. The sea featured prominently in their folklore and traditions, reflecting its importance in their lives. The Aral Sea's ecosystem was incredibly diverse, supporting a wide array of fish species, birds and other wildlife. Its waters provided a critical stopover point for migratory birds on their long journeys. The surrounding wetlands acted as natural filters, purifying water and supporting a rich tapestry of plant life. This ecological richness made the Aral Sea a biodiversity hotspot in Central Asia. The Aral Sea's demise began in the 1960s with the ambitious irrigation projects initiated by the Soviet Union. The Soviet government diverted the AMU Darya and Sir Darya rivers to transform Central Asia into a cotton-producing region. These rivers irrigated vast cotton fields fueling the Soviet economy. Thousands of miles of canals were constructed, but poorly built, leading to water losses. Excessive water withdrawals exceeded natural replenishment rates. The Aral Sea's water flow dwindled, leading to devastating consequences. The decision to prioritize cotton production over the Aral Sea's health was costly. Short-term gains were overshadowed by long-term environmental and social costs. The Aral Sea's decline is a stark reminder of the long-term consequences of exploiting natural resources. As the Aral Sea shrank, the consequences for the environment and the people living in the region were nothing short of catastrophic. The once thriving fishing industry collapsed as fish stocks plummeted. The sea's salinity increased dramatically, making the remaining water too saline for most aquatic life. The exposed seabed, now a vast, arid expanse known as the Aralcum Desert, became a source of toxic dust storms. These dust storms, laden with salt, pesticides and other agricultural chemicals, pose serious health risks to the local population. Respiratory illnesses, cancers, and other health problems became alarmingly common in the region. The shrinking of the Aral Sea also had profound economic consequences. The collapse of the fishing industry led to widespread unemployment and poverty. The once thriving port cities that dotted the shores of the sea became ghost towns, their economies decimated. The loss of the sea also had a devastating impact on the region's climate. The moderating influence of the sea disappeared leading to more extreme temperatures, hotter summers and colder winters. Despite the bleak picture, efforts are underway to restore parts of the Aral Sea. In Kazakhstan, the construction of the Kokoral Dam in 2006 has been a significant step towards reviving the northern part of the sea. The dam, built with the support of the World Bank, has helped to stabilize water levels in the North Aral Sea, leading to a resurgence of fish populations and a revival of the fishing industry in some areas. The restoration efforts in the North Aral Sea have brought a glimmer of hope to the region. The return of the fish has breathed new life into the local economy, providing much-needed jobs and income. The improved environmental conditions have also led to a decrease in the frequency and severity of dust storms, bringing some relief to the local population. While the restoration of the North Aral Sea offers a beacon of hope, the situation in the southern part of the sea remains dire. The South Aral Sea continues to shrink, and its future remains uncertain. The challenges are immense, requiring significant financial resources, technological expertise, and most importantly, the political will to prioritize the sea's restoration. 
The Errol Sea story is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of human and natural systems. The pursuit of short-term economic gains without regard for the environment can have devastating long-term consequences. The Errol Sea's demise highlights the need for sustainable water management practices, particularly in arid and semi-arid regions where water is a scarce and precious resource. The Errol Sea disaster is not just a regional issue, it's a global lesson. It demonstrates the need for international cooperation to address transboundary water issues. The rivers that fed the Aral Sea flowed through multiple countries, and the decisions made upstream had profound consequences downstream. The Aral Sea's plight underscores the importance of incorporating environmental considerations into all aspects of development planning. It's a call for a more holistic approach to development, one that recognizes the interconnectedness of economic prosperity, social well-being, and environmental sustainability. The future of the Aral Sea hangs in the balance. While the restoration efforts in the north offer a glimmer of hope, the situation in the south remains critical. Reversing the damage done to the Aral Sea will require a sustained and coordinated effort on a regional and global scale. It will require a shift in mindset, from one of exploitation, to one of stewardship. The Aral Sea's story is a powerful reminder that we are all connected to the environment and to each other. The choices we make today will determine the fate of the Aral Sea and countless other ecosystems around the world. The question is, will we learn from the mistakes of the past and choose a more sustainable path for the future? The Aral Sea's story is a call to action. It's a call to protect our planet's precious water resources, to promote sustainable development, and to work together to address the global environmental challenges we face. The future of the Aral Sea and indeed the future of our planet depends on the choices we make today.